were created for something special. Something extraordinary. Are you ready to be a sign and a wonder to your generation? The Fountain of Life Church presents Word Explosion Conference 2024. Come experience eight days of divine revelations, transformative teachings, and powerful worship with the theme, Signs and Wonders. The event holds from Sunday, April 14th to Sunday, April 21st. Speaking at the conference are renowned and seasoned preachers, Bishop Mike Okonkwo, Bishop Tudor Bismarck, Dr. Francis Miles, Pastor Mike Tord, Apostle Joshua Selman, Pastor Ibuko Aoshika, and Pastor Kunle Shorio. Hosts are Pastor Jimmy Odukoya and Pastor Toluwani Odukoya. Venue is the Fountain of Life Church, 12 Industrial Estate Road, of Town Planning Way, Ilupeju, Lagos. The morning sessions will start at 9 a.m., while the evening sessions will start at 5 p.m. Don't miss this opportunity to encounter the supernatural and witness the manifestation of God's power. Word Explosion Conference of 2024, where faith meets with revelation and lives are changed forever. Tell somebody to tell somebody about it. Still doing it. Still doing it. You were created for something special. Something extraordinary. Are you ready to be a sign and a wonder to your generation? The Fountain of Life Church presents Word Explosion Conference 2024. Come experience eight days of divine revelations, transformative teachings, and powerful worship with the theme, Signs and Wonders. The event holds from Sunday, April 14 to Sunday, April 21st. Speaking at the conference are renowned and seasoned preachers, Bishop Mike Okonkwo, Bishop Tudor Bismarck, Dr. Francis Miles, Pastor Mike Tord, Apostle Joshua Selman, Pastor Ibuko Aoshika, and Pastor Kunle Shorio. Hosts are Pastor Jimmy Odukoya and Pastor Toluwani Odukoya. Venue. Explosion 2024. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's Glory. been amazing days of Rema word, impartation, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. revelation, prophecy, anointing. Yep. And I want to believe that experience has cascaded to some of you here as well. Um, it's a wonderful time to be in the presence of the Lord for the past five days. Today, making it the sixth day, has been the revelation of God's word. Signs and wonders have followed. Absolutely. And that is a testament to how God has moved with this year's World Explosion Conference. Absolutely. I must say that for all our online community, they've been participating, showing and being resilient, even with all the challenges in the world at the moment, they've been active and that is a testament to how purposeful they are yep. as well to participate in as well once again welcome to the online online platform especially for all our online congregation welcome yep. to world explosion 2024 my name is joshua murakinyo good evening everyone my name is tammy ami williams and i am Isaiah itwa good and definitely it's been five days uh, of course, we're looking forward to, to this evening's uh, session. Absolutely. And I must say that uh, f for me, it's been five days of intense, intense mm. 
worship, yep. Yep. Um, revelation of God's word, yes. prophecy, yes. And, I, and I think no one is under any mirage that, look, God is ready to shift his people to the next level mm -hmm. of um, impact, influence, yep. and of course, um, deep understanding of how God works in the lives of, of men. Absolutely, absolutely. I don't even think that we're still in the phase of being ready to shift. I feel like that shift has happened, honestly. <laughs> Isaac says he has exploded. That's actually the word I keep using to describe the experience so far. Every time someone asks me, I'm like, oh, word explosion has been explosive. It has been explosive. In case you can't hear, I've lost my voice. I was about to say that that's a testament to what we're talking about. Um, if you have not lost your voice, um, I think I uh, yesterday, even being in church with my kids, they saw a different dad. They said, Daddy, what is wrong with you? I said, nothing is wrong with me. It's the joy you know, of the Holy Of Ghost. course, uh, the fact, of course, uh, yesterday, night with Pastor uh, Selman, Apostle, Selman. Apostle Selman, it it's, was a it, manifestation yeah. of what God has in store for his people. And of course, we're going to delve into that. But before we do, I uh, want to welcome you once again to, especially our online audience, to uh, this online version of World Explosion 2024, even before the service commences uh, of day six. Looking forward to amazing time in God's presence. Yep. And I'm sure that most of you joining us all over the world, we want you to participate. We want you to send in your messages. Tell us exactly what those messages, the key points for you, what has happened to you. Have you experienced signs and wonders? Mm -hmm. For so many of us, that is our own testimony. We'd like you to share your testimony with us. And tell us where you're, calling, uh, you're sending your messages from. Exactly. Um, perhaps just help us with all our handles. Right, right. So first off, if you are watching us right now, then you're definitely on one platform. I want you to hit the share button and send it across your network. Send it to all your friends, send it to your family. On Instagram, Facebook, X, Threads, we are at the Fountain of Life Church. Our senior pastor's handle is at I am that PJ, and our associate senior pastor's handle is at Tolu Ijogun on Instagram, Facebook, X, and Threads. On YouTube, you'll find us at Fountain TV, Jimmy Odukoya Official, and Toluwani. And if you're one of those people who just like to listen to the message on the go, we have the podcast directories. You can check on Spotify, iTunes, Google, et cetera. When you do, when you do, when you go on all of these platforms and you want to share your experience, we do encourage you to share your experience. Honestly, we want to make Jesus trend. That is it. Okay. Don't, we keep saying this thing here. I don't know why you're not taking us seriously. Stop hoarding the content to yourself. Don't hoard salvation. Don't be, don't be stingy. Don't be stingy. <laughs> share it. Use the hashtag. Uh, what Explosion 2024 and WEC 2024. And if you're feeling generous, tag us and we'll probably repost your content. Definitely. Definitely. And don't forget to download our apps on the Google Play Store and yes. the App Store as well. Yes. Uh, feel free to be a part of our community. And if you need a refresher, or go back to all of the messages. It's definitely available there for and you. And in case you missed any of the sessions from day one to now, please, they are all available on our YouTube platforms, on all our, our, our platforms, as a matter of fact. Yep. But, and of course, you can stream that and watch it over and over again. Perhaps just a reminder of some of the key highlights or the topics uh, that we've been listening to or experiencing from day one. Yeah. If you were in church on the first day for the morning session, you hear our associate senior pastor talking about the, the audacity, audacity of signs and, and wonders. wonders. And of course, in the evening is our very own Pastor Ibukwa Awoshika, talking yep. about trials and, and triumph. triumph. And of course, the experience of Joseph was, was like a, a, a nail on the, on, the, on, the, on the point she was trying to make yep. there. Yep. And of course, the message was very succinct. And of course, uh, the day two we have in the morning, Pastor, cool. our very own as well, Pastor Kunle Shorinyo, yep. talking about a future in power mm -hmm. and truth. Uh, that, that was it for me. And in the evening, we have our guest, uh, Minister Dr. Francis Miles talking yes. about communicating with your altar. Yes. And absolutely. that is on the second day. On the third day, we had Pastor Francis Miles as well in the morning, uh, in the morning yep. session uh, talking about what do you see? And of course, Important. still the same day, day three, we have Pastor Tudor Bismarck talking about hope of glory. Right. 
And of course, still on day four, uh, Pastor Tudor uh, Bismarck talked about it's a power play. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, day four, we're still talking about really? Pastor Todd Mike. Everyone was looking yeah. forward to that. Yeah. Unlocking the overflow. It was all about the overflow. the overflow. And of course, uh, day five in the morning session, we had Pastor Kunle yes, Shorin here talking about the, the weight, weight of, of time. time. And of course, can somebody help us with yesterday evening as well? Uh, Apostle Joshua Selmans, do you want to go for it? Uh, you want me to go for it? <laughs> Manifestation <laughs> of his experience. And yes. that was... Wow, were you in service yesterday? I was, I was. And you know what? You know when everyone's so excited and they're screaming, whoa, whoa, whoa. Mm -hmm. I couldn't scream. And it wasn't because I had already started to lose my voice. It was that I just felt a calm in my spirit to sit down and listen. So I was, I was seated most times and I was paying so much attention. And almost everything he said hit me like a ton of bricks at the same time. And I was like, have I never heard that before? You know when you're hearing Bible stories from a different perspective? And I think that's been a a constant since the beginning of the Word Explosion Conference. Every, they've all, I felt like I heard the story of Daniel from a different perspective. I heard the story of Joseph from a different perspective. But yesterday, Apostle Joshua Selman's session, it was powerful. I, lo I really love how he said that you cannot you know, move in the assignment of God. God. God cannot just call you and then give you an assignment if you've not yet developed friendship and relationship that is in the getting to know him. You know, if you don't abide in him and get to know him, know the kind of, you know, God he is, how he operates, there's no assignment yet. And, you know, it just, it's just like people that wake up one morning and say, well, I've been called, I have been anointed. Yes, but there is the time of abiding first. And that really meant a lot to me. Of, and know. I guess you just highlighted or put it succinctly, uh, some of the nuggets from the key things we must pay attention to. Mm -hmm. And that is you must have an experience with the God of the Bible. So yep. you can't speak yeah. from someone Acknowledge. else's experience. Mm -hmm. It must be personal to you. You must know God yes. uh, before you say you want to, you want to speak about him yes. or you want to uh, talk to people about him. Or you and want second, to work for him. Uh, definitely. And talk about understanding the law of faith. You can't receive anything from God uh, except faith. you walk by faith. Um, yes. And that, that is putting faith to work. Because if you don't even believe that God exists, uh, is the rewarder of them that diligently, diligently seek, seek him. him. Yep. And that is what faith is all about, believing um, and knowing that it exists even though you, you can't, can't see it. it. That's the whole that point is what of faith. faith is all about. And the third one is spiritual empowerment. That's when he talked about the anointing. The anointing. The anointing. Uh, definitely, it must flow. And of course, if your cup is not overflowing, it's a function of the shortage of the anointing yep. in your life. So that was when I realized that. Moni Jesu. Yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> that, that's my look at church. But it's more of knowing that you need the anointing of God, yes. the empowerment of the Holy Spirit for, the cup for, to you, overflow. for you to flow. For, yep. for the can, it, can, can we actually point out how Apostle Joshua Selman's message also ties in with the with Mike Todd's um, analogy and even the experiment that we did in, in, in the service, the overflow of the, the, the experiment. Is that the spirit is one. The spirit and is you one. Can see that from even um, our associate pastor Toluani, from our message through to Apostle Selman, yes. there's a link. They've all been there's linked. There's always a connection, you know, through it all, and it still speaks to. The prophecy of overflow for us even as a church and as individuals so yes. let us know your experiences let us know what you think let us know the words that have actually hit you you know throughout the sessions so we're far. getting we're getting comments in there oh, please please help us with some of the comments all right there. i see that some of you our online community have already told us where you're watching from special shout out to miss b who's been holding down yeah. the ground since day one um i see miss b Irole, ah, this is your Equirolema. <laughs> my day was good uh, this this is them doing community in there i see we are not around right. <laughs> i love it we love to see it we love you our senior pastors love and appreciate you as well um some um one sec i want to oh somebody says timmy baby hi <laughs> hello <laughs> all right um irene jan says thank you and good evening watching from manhattan nyc times square if you are times square are you with tunde or no I'm, I'm this, this is not a chess competition don't World worry record. we'll be um, praying for him this evening definitely well. Well. let's go to facebook where we have olua Tony. Saying, I'm created for something special. Definitely, you are. We have people on Pastor Jimmy's YouTube channel saying, uh, Prayer, prayer doesn't. He's saying, We are waiting. 
Glory be to God. Definitely, we're waiting on God. Juliana Okoye says, we love you, Lord. We love him. Definitely. Uh, we have a lot of good evening, Vic Victory Corner. Good evening, prayer docent. These guys are, are you great? You guys are like They know each other. <laughs> they know each other. They're just greeting each other. There. We love it. We love it. We love Thank, it. Thank you for very joining much. us. Okay, Thank you, you so much. There? Yeah, Dorothy Manda is asking, who is ministering today? I was about I was about to do that, but I was just saying, let me just hold on to the, let me create this. No, I want to ask them in the chat, who is ministering okay. today? The information yeah. is out there. Come on, guys. Are you not keeping up? In, in fact, let's know who is going to be the first person tell to us. tell us who is first. ministering tonight. Tell us in the chat. Tell us in the chat. Pastor's fingers first. Pending the I'm, time. I'm on Facebook and uh, Timmy I'm is on, on YouTube. YouTube on Fountain, Fountain of Life. I'm on PJ's YouTube channel. So feel we'll free see who check. drops it first. We'll just give you a quick shout out here. Yes, yes, yes. So did you guys notice uh, from the hashtag yesterday was massive. We had a Ooh. lot of people sharing their pictures and all of that. Thank when Pete only so said, much. take a selfie. Thank you so, so can much we still for do doing that. that. Today? Please, you, you have to do that. You today. know, we can actually do that with yes. them online right now. Wherever you're watching from. Take a selfie, maybe with your screen or whatever. Okay, I, I think oh. I'm going to break the protocol a little bit. So I'm going to We're do gonna a do selfie it now. now. Yeah, you guys yeah. are going to watch us do so. a selfie live. So do the same where you so are. It will be your turn. So. Uh, there you go. You're going to find it on Instagram. So yep. uh, that, that's it. So uh, do yours. Is, the hashtag is... Word, Word Explosion 2024, 2024 hashtag TFOLC, yep. hashtag Fountain of Life Church. That, Feel free to you. tag us. Mm. Always make sure you tag us. Aside from using the hashtag, tag at the Fountain of Life Church definitely. on everything you post everywhere, and we will definitely repost it. What a way to start has the, anyone the weekend. has anyone mentioned who is ministering tonight? No, I haven't seen it yet. Oh, oh, they've dropped it. <laughs> ah, sorry, sir, sorry, people. We see you anyone now. Anyone on Pastor Jay's uh, channel? Yes, I have Lara saying Bishop Michael Kukwa. Everybody yes, here is shouting. Juliana is our Okoye, you're watching from Canada. Thank you so much. God bless you. Oh, no. okay. okay. What's, we what's have happening, to, what's oh happening my to my Facebook fa family? They, they have coming. network issues. They are, they are <laughs> They're having network issues. Yeah, no, 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 no. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, guys. Sophia, Sophia says, Grandpa Michael Konko, you are right when you call him the grand. He is the grandfather of the fountain grand, of. He's our great grand. Is he great grand? Yeah, because PJ is now our father. Okay. No, PJ is father. Oh, that's true. He's great grand. So <laughs> this is it uh, for tonight. Um, we're going to make a little detour. Uh, we're going to invite someone who has been with us, um, been a fountaineer for a very long time. Yeah. We'd like to hear him speak to us about some of his experiences. We've got your mic here. Uh, okay. Uh, please welcome. Please just come in because we are running out of time at the moment. Ladies and okay. gentlemen. There you have it. Welcome. welcome. Drum roll. There thank you have him, you. Mr. Mukhtar. Welcome, Mr. Mukhtar. It's a pleasure to have you join us. Pleasure to be here. Uh, definitely. Uh, I've always met you on another forum. We'll be talking about the economy, but this is not <laughs> an economy. We're talking about Jesus. Yes. Yeah. World Explosion 2024. But my first question to you is, you've experienced many world explosion. Um, when you think about this, perhaps tell us, can you do some kind of analysis or comparison with what you've witnessed before and this year's world explosion? Well, world explosion has always been different. Mm -hmm. Always, always been different. Um, I think I've done like, I started World Explosion like 1999. Ah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, 1999. That was when I started World Explosion. So I think this, it has always been different. I think before now, what we're having now, we used to have the morning and the afternoon session of World Explosion. I think sometime in 2002 or thereabout, we started just having one session. Mm. So it used to be morning and afternoon. So um, it's just like you are reenacting that. And um, this has been different. It has, it has not always been the same when it comes to water explosion. It has never been the same. Amazing. Mm. So, so what was your first water experience conference? Well, well I think it was with um, Dr. Ray McCauley from South Africa. Wow. Yeah, that was my first water explosion. Do you, do you remember what the content was? I know it's been a long time now. I can't remember that content, but I know it was with them, him and his wife at that time. I mean, I can't mm. remember. He was a speaker. Also, we you had know? them. Okay. That time we had them, Dr. Francis Waloke. Mm. So uh, the list can go on and on. Be people that I can remember that have been to World Explosion, Bishop Oedekbo, uh, Bishop Abioye, Mensah Otade, Rob Thompson. Wow. Yeah, Rob Thompson. Um, 
We have quite a lot, Sam. Adeyemi also, Reverend yes. Sam Adeyemi too, was in one of one. those world explosions. Uh, we have... Um, I, I'm sure you can reel out a number of uh, men yes. of God. They say, but for this year, uh, what was what's the highlight for you wow. when we talk about world explosion? Wow, wow. I think that's the only word I can qualify this year. It's just wow. Um, you, you, you thought, you, you always know that world explosion was going to be different. Mm -hmm. But this, this year was exceptional. When you look at mm. the speakers, they came with something different. Mm. Um, the first day we started with the audacity. And you thought you've seen it all. Then the following, the, the evening, we had Pastor Bless him uh, talk about um, test, I mean, try and, uh, try and triumph. Oh, wow. Um, then the following day, we went to the other space, Pastor, uh, Pastor Skunle Shoni also um, talked about um, truth, and I mean, truth and fact. Then uh, we, I think we went to Dr. Um, the one I talked Dr. about. Dr. Francis Miles. Pastor Miles talked about altar. Then the next. And then came, um, there also came um, the Bishop Tido Big Smack. I mean, he, he actually came with something very, very different. Um, I, I mean, it. It, it, I, it, it, it has not left me, but one thing I, I enjoyed about Tido Big Smack was the fact that um, he talked about the power and wisdom that we all need every day in our lives. So the second day when the leadership conference was awesome, also he talked about when you have concrete knowledge of what you really want to do. And um, you, you don't want to talk about um, Mike Todd or something <laughs> else. We talk about the overflow. Dr. Big, Big, Dr. Big gave something that really I've left with me, and he took, I think it's from Job 29, 20, where he talked about fresh glory. Mm. You know, you always think, oh, the glory of the Lord, the glory of the Lord. You didn't know that every day. He said you don't have to look at yesterday glory. Mm -hmm. You know that every day you can ask for a, a renewal of his glory upon mm -hmm. your life. That was something new. For me, yeah, and then yeah. the, the overflow came up, and you just realized that God is a God of the overflow. Yep. Then, um, uh, then, of course, Pastor Kunle Shurinyo came again and gave his own. Then, we, yesterday was just something different. Amazing. <laughs> so definitely, when he said 1999, I could see the faces of the people behind the camera. You need to be here. Right. <laughs> we were all like, okay. Yes. Was that, and remember we talked words? about, you know, word explosion being around for a while. Yeah. Now that's, that's, that's a sign. Sorry, in a word, in just one word, describe what your expectation is for today, tonight. What are you expecting in one word? Woof. Woof is enough. It's, it's enough. enough. <laughs> because it's you, enough. Don't, you don't get a no when you hear the, the grand, the grand, your grandfather is coming. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it has always been the cap. Even whenever we had, when pastor was around, that this Friday has always been the master of all. Then on Sunday, you know, pastor will come and cry. But Friday has always been like, this is the Eddie Radio. I think since I've been in Fountain of Life since 99, mm -hmm. I think it was only last year that we didn't have Bishop Mike preach to us on a Friday. Wow. was only last year. All he has been consistent. So when you talk about word explosion, you always talk about Bishop Mike. So today, you don't want to miss what he's going to tell to his grandchildren, you know. His grandchildren are now in, in, the, in that seat. We want to say thank you very much, uh, Mr. or brother. Now, Anyone? brother Mukhtar <laughs> Mohammed, thank you for joining us. Um, for a joining quick us, detour sir. from our thank online you. community. There you have someone who has experienced word explosion 2024, speaking to it. And of course, it takes someone who has actually participated and felt the anointing to reel out every talking point from day one. Yes. Thank you very much. Once Thank again. You, Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank um, you. You can take the mic with you. We give you. <laughs> Thank you, you. Thank Thank you, you so very much. much. I, I like okay. his expression. I like what he said about woof being this expectation. For I mean, we can't spell it, but you get it. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, so we need to go back to our online community. Yes, What guys. are they saying? Tell me, help us. Help us with. All right. All right. Mudupe Ola says, God does not call to an assignment. He called you to himself before yeah. sending you on assignment. Amazing. Amazing. Truth, truth. Um, you guys are feeling the fire. Yeah. <laughs> Alan Itua says, yay, another day of a life-changing encounter. Absolutely, your life is about to change. All our lives here are changing for the better in today's session in Jesus' name. Um, I have someone on PG's, Please, please, PG's, go on. PG's, tell PG's us what's going on team. there. Lara O, oh, she says, news team, fine boys and girl, we love Jesus. Yes, <laughs> we do. We do love Jesus. Do. Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. Oh, somebody's praying for me about my voice. Thank you. I receive healing in Jesus' name. <laughs> uh, I, think, I think it's a serious one when you're, you're complimented <laughs> about your voice. Oh. Well, um, I'm still trying to find what is happening with our Facebook. Uh, Facebook but okay. don't worry. Not to worry. Kelvin, Kelvin mm. Okaludo says, clap hand for Casey. And I love your outfits. I like the African vibe. I know you're talking to me about my scarf. And, yeah, and we're shaping scarf. culture, Thank remember. Thank you. We are cultural <laughs> shapers here at the Fountain of life church thank you so much but yeah shout out to casey and the entire audiovisual yeah. team they've been doing amazing shout out to the entire social media team they've been doing amazing shout out to every single workforce member at the founding of life church How they, the they praise and worship the worship sessions have been wonderful can grace you just levites, put your hands together grace for levites. the grace levites Come on. in the chat the section best choir on this side of the of heaven right i think i think that's how they're, they're yes the best choir on this wonderful. side of heaven acknowledge wonderful. what god is doing with the grace levites they've just been they've been taking us to higher realms every session is a higher realm i don't know how they've been doing it or the special grace that is on them yeah, for yeah. this word explosion in jesus name it remains even after what <laughs> explosion <laughs> Amen. Just listen. Lara who says, Apostle Seman said, silence does not mean fear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what got to me. Wisdom. Yeah. Yeah. So, much, so much wisdom yesterday. And I love this prophecy talking about fountain of life not going under. In amen. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let's see your amen. Your amen right amen. there in the comment section. If you also believe and you tie into that covenant, that fountain of life would never go down. The fire would keep going on. Amen. amen. Definitely. And Travis Church Boy said, yesterday was awesome and I can't wait for today's program. We all can't wait. We've got our grandfather in the Lord. Oh, yeah. In church today. So we're looking forward to that. And in case you're just wondering, perhaps today is the end of World Explosion. No. It's not the At end. All. We have Sunday. Stay tuned. Sunday is the grand finale of World Explosion. And I'm sure that if he that has started a good work in you, yep. he's able to complete it. So yes. don't be left out on what God is going to do for Sunday. Absolutely. Absolutely. We have a few more minutes more uh, before yeah. the service will commence. Yeah. I think in one word. Same thing we did here. In one word, let us know your expectations for tonight. Right? right. Put it there. Put it there on the comment should we, section. Should we go first? Oh, someone is clapping for the Grace what? Levite here. Yes. They, on yes. Facebook, he yeah, said, Facebook all for the Grace Levite. Yeah. Uh, they, came, they came prepared. They came uh, with great unction to function. Yeah. We, we, we have so many clapping emojis here for, I want to believe it's for the entire staff of the Fountain of Life Church. Because I, I'm, I'm here on their behalf, so I'll take it for everybody. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, please acknowledge yourselves. You are here with us every day, every session. You're doing so well. Thank you so much for staying with us. I want you to know that we love you. Our senior pastors love you. We do not take your participation and your engagement for granted. God bless you. You can give yourselves a round of applause in the comment section. Please. Okay, we'll do that. We'll do uh, like I said yesterday, it's not about getting the popcorn ready for the service. No, you can get your Bible, your anointing oil, and your mantle of prayer. Yep. Get ready, get prepared, call your loved ones, share the links. We have the link. Links are available. Download the apps. Yep. Log on to all our social media platforms. We really do love you, our online community. We and do. that is why we are here. This place is called the Situation Room. It may not have all the four walls of a house, but of course, you know. we're encapsulated in God's love and mercy and joy. We and are. that's why we are here to help you through, uh, get you connected uh, to God even as we start the service. All right. Any message there? Um, just one quick announcement before we have to run. Mm. If you have plans to come physically on Sunday, take advantage of the bus service going on. We still have buses going from uh, Ketu Yanopaja. They say it's Berger, but Bega because... Uh -huh. I'll join. Ikorodu, <laughs> Egbeda, go on our social media platforms. You will find all the information that you need about the bus service. Share it with your friends and family. So nobody has an excuse not to come on Sunday. Today is not the last day, okay? You know, when pastor says, God, no go shame us, we don't intend to have anyone left behind. Yeah. So if you come to church, if you are here and you need to bring someone along, Please get them here because they won't be left alone in getting home at the end of the conference. At the, the end of the uh, session, yes, yes. yes. The buses are still available. Hallelujah. Okay, someone, someone. Uh, so, uh, Travis said again, um, like I'm gradually turning to a Fountaineer member. Yay! <laughs> 
He said, even though I have my own church, wow, this church, too sweet. Yes, that's the experience if you come. But you know, like the way pastor will always say, mm -hmm. um, if you are a member of a church, be faithful there. But if the Spirit is leading you to join, why not? You're welcome. You're welcome. You that's are all we can welcome say. in the name of the Lord. That's not a new song to me. That's no, the, we, we have, have a new we have song. Ah, new song. that's true. <laughs> My voice has gone. I can't sing that. So you know that? Holy. You, yeah. I will scratch. Let me know this. Calm, just calm down. <laughs> okay. okay. Please share your experiences and feel free. The service is about to commence. Yep. Right? We're about to start prayers. So please share your experiences. The, if, you, if you read the comment section on the Fountain of Life YouTube, you will just be blown away. They're sending us love. Eh? They say, without you all, we can't connect a thousand miles away. The media crew, we love and appreciate you all. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. The cameramen are okay. hearing you. We appreciate you. Thank you. Still on Facebook, we have uh, Ami Smith said, you are all grounded and rooted in that house. Glory Faithful God. servants. Glory is the Lord, oh, is the Lord, oh, walking God, through oh. us to, to will and to do oh, according, according to, to his, his good, good, pleasure. Good, good pleasure. That is what we are here for. And we're here to help you through. Um, I'd like to get from you your parting shot, even as we wrap up. Receive. Oh, thank you very much. No, no, don't worry, I'll help you. Oh, my God. <laughs> you see how we, we, we help ourselves in Fountain? This is it. Both of them. Can I use both? Mike? There you go. I'm expectant. I'm expectant. And I'm expectant. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm, you. I'm literally going to say exactly what he said because PJ says expect action. So I'm expecting action today. Faith is a substance of things hoped for, evidence of things not seen. If you're expectant, you will definitely receive. I want to say thank you very much, our online community. I want to say thank you very much for joining us. The service starts now. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. Wow. I need some excitement in the house. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Amen and amen. Can we rise up on our feet? Can we rise up on our feet? Let's rise up. Let's rise up on our feet. Amen. Amen. Wow. Do you realize that the preparation for the service is also as important as the service? Hallelujah. What did I say? That the preparation for it is also as important as the service. You know, it's like you want to plant a seed and the soil is not prepared. Do you know what happens? You don't get the yields you want. But we're all going to be fruitful in the name of Jesus. I mean, there's fruitfulness coming to all of us in the name of Jesus. I want us to begin to thank the Lord. Before that, welcome somebody next to you. Tell them they're welcome. Today is day six. I'm sure your capacity is expanded. Your capacity is expanded. Are you here? Your capacity is expanded. Your capacity is expanded. Hallelujah and hallelujah. Father, we give you praise. Lord, we honor you. We magnify your holy name. Oh, to him who sits on the throne and unto the land to him who sits on the throne and unto the land be glory and honor and power forever and ever be glory and honor and power forever and ever to him who sits on the throne and on to the land sits on the throne and on to the land be glory be glory and honor and power forever and ever be glory
the Spirit. Let's begin to pray in the Spirit. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Please look at me. You know, we call this pre-service prayers, but it is actually preparation prayers. Hallelujah. Don't take it as say, well, I'll go through this, then the praise worship will come, then the word will come. Hallelujah. I want us to focus our attention on God as we pray in the Spirit, because right from now, God will start to drop instructions in your heart. Hallelujah. So this is as important as the service. Hallelujah. Amen. So when I say we should pray in the Spirit, let us really pray in the Spirit. It shouldn't be bindless. You know, we can come to church. Six o'clock will soon come. Hallelujah. No, we will pray in the Spirit and prepare our hearts. I want us to begin to pray in the Spirit. Lita sutre ikabusa zele pradish do uvregedi zagredi ya preniga me ila bayoto le baeza maya le bobo do grego bandre lega mandre le bodra di zofradish do ovaha mage zofrediga melia preduga ye keto zo zofregedish de e mali de gaya maragado zo uvregedia ha Magaza ego bade zelevrodea, Genebra da gaye levroda rebariato zokuba, Makaseti, Ezovrenem bradizaha, Mari branda rosahaba, Me yevre no bradia, Mali bobo do ria gadoza, Maradi la badro de jundra la bandea, Ma eco rezo prenae, Eco branda rebada goskeniada. Maria te brada rosun de riaha, raga da zoto bregedea, e pradizole fradista, e pradizole fradista, maraga dizole, maraga dizole, e pradigada gazo fradista, marababuzo tre endaha, maria da gadizo, maria gadadizo, e ze tre agada zo fradisto ovregea. Malia dre ligo bregedezo ho Evreno zakatea Malia dro bredezo le vragadu shakaria Zetelie bradizo ho Malie grado ze le fregedea Ze ze le vragadu zo le vragadeja ha Maragadu zo le fregedea E kabaye toza E kabaye toza Ragaya bagada zale e pragadea Ragada gado zo le vragadea ha Ye krado ze le bradezo ho Ragade lo vregedea ha Regada grebade zo bledea ha Rebrada grebo ze le vragadaga Mali e de rea gado ze ha Iko mali e de bada zo tali ya ba Zo ze le ya prede da gade sa ha ba Zo ze kra gado ya ha Raka de ze e grade zaha Reka da gregede zaha Male e prada dos eri adada E grade zaha Roka re baga taka soko rea ha Re e ka gragado ze ha Re e ke re ya ka Marabado zo ovre e ka re ha Zo ze le prade zo dregede ya ha Raka de prade zo le vragade ya ha Mara de le pragadea ha Re eke gregede ye e krodaya Ragada ze e kragado ze hi Ragada ze keto ze keya ha Mare keto ze le fregede za ha Jaraba de kezoka Jalaba regedo za ha Le barabado sotore ya baga Egare ambare teru ya ba Ze tere ya kredo za tre le prada Ze dere ya prinadaya E kabaya Zo kubutoza Zale badega Zale badega Radado ze tere ya mbredo doza Mashata remba Regada zo lo vregede ya Zo ze bedi ya pagada zo te ya Ze ke tere ya Ragade zo le vregede ya Me ya le banda ye me ke to zo krade ya Zo vrade ye se vradamba ya Je je prede de grege de zo le praga ya Ragade ze le ya krado ze e kraga ya 
Ratezo levradezo oba. Get into the spirit and stay there. Zeze prade zande ele aprinaya. Jeneria bagaya taria ha. Mayelibo zotoli pragadaya. Eteze malia taria baraba sondaria raba. Zeto rea teria daria raba. Zozele babosa ha. Zozele babosa ha. Zele bandeli atelia baba. Ekaba. Zalite le bade sonteli e barades. Le bada ye brandele ababa. Ze koto le abaga. Zole te le poto zeli arara. Jarate nuria dariaba. Eka badre le ambre nuria. Zute le badisaha. Zute le badisaha. Ze le boshakaba. Ze le boshakaha. Ze le pata le bariaha. E krabayita le prado seriara. Je le preni anteli apa de sutaya. E le ba lo preni ado ze le brade li abradare ya ha. Re prado ze le abregede ya ha bak. Ze le prade zalibanda ya ha. Ze le bade zalibanda ya ha. Zo kote le prada rosa ha ba. Zalibo dare ya ha. Re barabaga ye koto ze le prada zuguba. Rada badose puria gadose, so le bragadose, le bragadose, re bagadose, le bagradose, re bragadose, le bragadose, ragade le bragadeza ha, rade lo brada rose le brahaya. So by Arabushta ha, in the name of Jesus. You know, anytime Paul is writing to is epistles I mean I always wondered it would say grace to you and peace from from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ grace to you and peace is always giving us grace and peace and tonight Jesus is the word and the word is coming to us what Paul in essence is saying that the word of God brings us grace and peace. And what is peace? Peace is like the forerunner of prosperity. Grace is what we don't deserve. So as the word of God comes to you, as I'm about to give you the word of God, Paul is saying that he's bringing you, is laying the foundation of prosperity for you and bringing you into an economy of what you don't deserve. Are you here? I'm laying the foundation of the prosper prosperity for you through the word. I'm bringing you into an economy of what you don't deserve. So as the word comes tonight, there are things you don't deserve that is given to you. Their, their, their foundations is laying. Now, today is the sixth day. Hallelujah. What has been happening is that your lives have been beautified like a house since the beginning. This painting was put here. This styling was put here. This furniture was put in place. Hallelujah. There's a crowning glory coming tonight. Hallelujah. There's another, there's another dimension of beautification coming tonight. I want you to continue to pray in the spirit. That God as another dimension is coming tonight. I'm, I'm entering into that economy in the name of Jesus. The economy that gives me what I do not deserve. The economy that lays the foundation of prosperity. Hallelujah. <laughs> Lo pregizaha, mali elia badozaha, le balebolose, lo balebolosa, lo balikadiza, le brendo zile de shibaha. In the name of Jesus. Finally, I've come to understand one thing. Anywhere there is space for God's glory to move, where you want His glory and to move and you say God it's not about me 
but about your glory totally. I mean, there's a way God moves there because you've given him access. So tonight, we're going to pray. Let your glory fall. Lord, we step back. Let your glory fall. Let your glory fall. Lord, we step back. Let your glory fall. Lord, we step back. Let your glory fall. Pray, pray, pray. Lord, we step back. Let your glory fall. 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 Oh, Lord, we step back. We step back. For your glory, for your glory. Only your glory, Lord. Only your glory, Lord. Only your glory, Lord. Hey, only your glory, Lord. Masuleli abarista reya. Yeah, yeah. So le pari arie pro dele ababosaria. Let your glory fall, Lord. Let your glory fall tonight. Let your glory fall. We step back. Lord, we step back. Oh, Lord, we step back. For your glory to move. For your glory to move. For your glory to move. For your glory to fall. Zele baba ruzeli abarayada. Ekaba iye teri eliyada basson neriyaha. Leriyada dano seriye. Lori eliyada no se te badari elelelele bas. Let your glory fall. Let your glory fall. Let your glory fall, Lord. Let your glory fall. Let your glory fall. Like never before tonight. Oh, beyond the last five days. Zalide Briadiga Basundaha. Jesus. 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 If you are here this evening, I want you, you are going to call the name of Jesus three times. Don't just call it anyhow. Call the name of Jesus like you believe the name of Jesus. Like you believe it. At the name of Jesus, things happen. Like you believe it. Oh, number one, let's call the name of Jesus. 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 Call his name again. Like you believe him, call his name again. Jesus. Father, we thank you. Give him a round of applause tonight. Believing that God has already done it. Father, we give you praise. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Over to you, choir. What explosion they seek. 2024, somebody scream. Oh, Somebody shout hallelujah The name The name of Jesus Is greater And higher than all names It is not an ordinary name It's a name That's full of power And praise if you believe it's shout hallelujah the name the name of jesus is greater and higher than all day it is not an ordinary day it's a name that full of power and praise. I want to hear the church sing that song. Let's go. The name. Riba so tori kana mashatari adabada bada. Lebra kana manora regara bashara dada. Ira baso tori akara bashi de 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 de. It's the name. You can sing it one more time. Let's go. Oh, the name 
can kneel song to the Lord Joy overflow in my heart Sing a new song to the Lord Joy overflow Oluwa, 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 Oluw
Oluwa, 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 This governance is sweet. Now me take and see. This governance is sweet. Oh. He gave me victory. Now me don't get weak. He gave me.
Okay, hold your neighbor's shoulder. We are in the presence of the Lord. Hold your neighbor's shoulder. Hold your neighbor's shoulder. Hey, are you ready? Carry me the go. Jehovah, carry me the go, the go, the go. The Lord wants to hear you loud and clear. The Lord wants to hear you loud and clear. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. We set our eyes on you. Come and do what you do. On you, come and do what you do. We need a move. 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 We are here. We are here.
sing hallelujah till you come Era bada I will dance in your breath till you come again Hey I will sing hallelujah
and glorious Jesus the Son of God is lifted up Moti Uroba Ebi Oriru Jesu Yiri Moni Moti Uroba Ebi Oriru Jesu Yiri Kiloje Oni Boba Ojo Matiti Ake
Lord. Our God is a good God. Oh, are you happy to be here this evening? Are you excited? Are you waiting for the next level? Our God is good. Praise the Lord. Please be seated. We're welcoming everyone to the sixth world explosion. And our brothers on the internet, our sisters on the internet, is going to be a wonderful time today in the name of Jesus. We have been coming through a very long journey. The journey from Sunday. And we started from the street of audacity. Are you bold? The street of audacity. And then we zoom into triumphing in trials. Praise the Lord. And we have been going from one level to another level. And then we now topped it yesterday with revelation in transition. Praise the Lord. He says we will shine. Our shine cannot be ignored. Praise the Lord. Our God is good. We are expectant. We are waiting. We welcome all of you. And we are telling you to please be ready. Fasten your seatbelt and see what the Lord is going to do today. Open your heart and you know the Almighty Father will feel it in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't let anything distract you because this is the time to be focused in the mighty name of Jesus. We worship you, Almighty Father. We say thank you. Thank you for a time like this. Thank you for a moment like th this. Thank you for the word explosion. Thank you, Almighty God, for feeding us again. We worship and bless your holy name. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Please, let's welcome the best choir on this side of heaven.
decorating. Best choir on the side of heaven. Oh, our God is good. I just want us to praise Almighty Father this evening. I want us to magnify the name of the Lord. Because we are going to manifest His glory. Oh, we are going to manifest His glory. We are on a different level. We are now different because we, we are loaded. And being loaded, we are going to start dishing out. Oh, my senderia. Please, let's rise up. I want us to sing this praise song. Magnify the Lord with me. Name of Jesus. Magnify the Lord with me. Oh, exalt the name of Jesus. Oh, magnify the Lord. Woo! Exalt the name of Jesus. Magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Magnify the Lord with me. Ha! Exalt the name of Jesus. Magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Please continue, Helen. <coughs> Please, where are we singing? Magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Oh, sing, oh, sing.
somebody you can do better than that if you know you have a reason to give God praise lift up your voice in thanksgiving uh -huh. you know you know it's very easy to take life for granted you know I say only the living have the privilege of having problems so if you have problems that is, an, that is the evidence that God has been good to you. Because that means you are here and you have life in your body. So one more time, with the thanksgiving that he alone deserves for protecting, for preserving, for fighting your battles. He never sleeps, he never slumbers. Faithful God. Dependable God. Yes, God. His hand is mighty to save. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Yes, God. Father, we worship you. You alone deserve the glory, the honor, the adoration, and the praise. We are nothing without you. Everything we are, we are because of you. Because it is in you that we live. It is in you that we move. It is in you that we have our being. Father, we thank you for the honor and the privilege to call you our own. What is man that you are so mindful of us? The angels can't seem to figure it out. The imperfect man, unstable man, inconsistent man, fallible man, shallow man. What is man that you are so mindful of us? that you loved us so that you sent your only son to die for us. What can we ever do to repay your sacrifice? That we are worthy, we are recipients of your grace and mercy that is renewed every day. So Father, we say thank you. We thank you for your presence, how you have shown up all through this conference. And we are here with expectation for what you are about to do tonight. We thank you that everything you do is in the forward direction. So we know it will be from glory to glory, from grace to grace, from strength to strength. Father, we thank you that your word, the entrance of your word bringeth light and illuminates every dark place in our lives. So Father, our hearts are expectant, our minds are opened, our bodies and spirits yielded to you, O oh God. Do only what you can do and have your way. So Father, we give you glory. Honor, adoration, thanksgiving be unto you. If you believe it, say amen. amen. If you receive it, shout amen. amen. If you know that God is about to do an amazing thing, give God a shout of hallelujah. Amen, amen. Look for a neighbor, give him a high five, tell him welcome, 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 welcome. If the person you shook isn't smiling, find somebody else, tell them welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome to day six of Word Explosion 2024. How many people have been blessed thus far? 
If you have missed any of the sessions, I strongly implore you that you go and you listen. Each one of them has been straight from the throne of grace. Remember that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So please, for your own development, for your own growth, for your own sake, please listen to every session that we have experienced thus far. With that being said, are we ready for tonight? Come on, Fountain. Come on, Word Explosion. I said, are we ready for tonight? This evening is very special. Because speaking tonight, our speaker needs no introduction. I think it's your person that says, every child will go and find who their father is. <laughs> this speaker is not our father. It's our father's father. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, I know you're not sitting. Hey! Everyone standing here is an evidence of the grace on Bishop's life. Without Bishop, there would be no fountain of life. His guidance, his prayer, his presence, his strength. He has been an anchor. <laughs> Dependable, a safe place. Anywhere I'm in the world, when I see him calling, I first stand up, then I prostrate. <laughs> when I pick up my, yes, sir. I say, sir, I'm kneeling down, sir. Such an honor. He's. I marvel how he is doing so many things, but he has a special way of making you feel special. Bishop will call you and create time. Say, come and see me. He will sit down and he will talk with you. I see myself asking him questions and I'm in awe of such humility and grace. And so, if you let me I'll be here for 30 minutes. I can preach a sermon on our speaker. Not just from experiences that I have seen or witnessed even when my father was alive, but even now personal experiences, my personal experiences. And God knew what he was doing when he allowed us to, to have the gift of bishop in Nigeria. A light in our generation. The body of Christ will not be what it is today without bishop. Celebrate the obedience, the life of sacrifice. But before I bring him up in keeping with tradition, of word explosion, please turn your attention to the screen as we introduce our speaker for the evening. Introducing Bishop Mike Okonkwo. Bishop Mike Okonkwo is the presiding bishop of the Redeemed Evangelical Mission, TREM, and a versatile man of God with over 30 years of dedicated service unto the Lord. He passionately preaches power in the word to a multicultural and diverse audience with over 180 branches in Nigeria and 10 countries across the globe. He's an apostle to this generation whose life has impacted millions around the world. 
a father to many and a pastor of many pastors across the globe. Bishop Mike Okonkwo is a dynamic conference speaker, crusade evangelist, author, television and radio host, a strong and respected voice in Nigeria and an advocate of balanced Christianity. He is a patron and founder of the Empowerment for Less Privileged ELP Foundation a non-governmental organization committed to alleviating the plight of the less privileged in the society through donations to hospitals, establishment of free vocational training centers, running free preparatory schools for students in secondary schools, and facilitating regular public enlightenment campaigns on health issues amongst others. He also pioneered a scholarship fund for talented students. In a bid to positively affect the less privileged, Bishop Mike Okonkwo in partnership with his wife, Bishop Peace, under the ages of the Women of Global Impact, sponsors free cervical screening for women in some rural areas and makes annual donation of food and clothing to the less privileged women with particular emphasis on widows in villages. A peace-loving man, Bishop Mike risked his life to ensure the reconciliation of warring parties during the Obunike communal clash, which invariably led to the sustained peace the towns enjoy today. Day. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. Come on, Fountain Bishop of Life, Mike everyone Okonkwa. standing. Please welcome our speaker for this evening, my grandfather, the one, the only, Bishop Mike Okoko. <laughs> Come on, lift up your hands and shout, Hallelujah! If you are ready, shout hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm excited tonight to be here. Well, not as a guest speaker, but a, a member of the house. Let me celebrate uh, Senior Pastor Jimmy. Come on, put your hands together for him. I did, it was eight months ago that you stepped into a shoe that is so massive. God has helped you. We are proud of you. We are proud of what God has done in eight months. Fountain, come on. You know, at times it's so easy to trivialize the grace of God and the goodness of God when you see one, and more especially when it's around you for so long. But I must tell you, God has really been good in this evening. <laughs> Given the challenges that made him step into the shoes, it's not many people that would have healed and to have been able to step in and do what they are doing. It, it takes the grace of God. Let us, let us celebrate them one more time. I'm truly very proud that I'm alive to see this happening. I'm alive. You know, as we are getting ready to step into this podium, the Holy Spirit told me that the most we can do, my generation, we are exiting generation. God is raising up young people, anointing them in a very unique way. I mean, you have not seen anything yet. That's the truth. Our part is to 
ensure that we hand the baton correctly to you people so that you don't fight the battles that your father fought you don't fight the battles we fought because with that you will be able to gain speed and do what you God has called you to do that's that's what our generation should be doing encouraging people young generations because the glory of the latter day house surely going to be greater than the former I saw I say to young people everywhere I go that no matter what you have seen in the body of Christ today I don't care how big it is it's still not compared to what God wants to do in these last days so you must not limit yourself go for it take giant strides that's the truth take giant strides these are days of acceleration God is moving so fast and you can't just be laid back so it's very important and I said as I say this to them I say this to every young people here if you're a young man young woman whatever your position is these are great days I always say to people when they say, you know, that I wonder what, I hear that often from a lot of people, I wonder the hope we have with this type of you-you young people we have. And I said to them, you don't know God. If you know God, you will know that he is a God of progression. And he has already gone ahead. There is already an anointing for this present day. Unless you are dumb, blind, dishonest, that's why you will not see that there is a dimension of anointing upon young people that our generation have never seen and probably will not see. So I encourage you, if you're a young person, position yourself because great and mighty things are coming. If you believe that, shout a loud amen. I celebrate all the leadership of Fountain of Life. Thank you so very much. Thank you so very much. Every member of Fountain of Life, I thank you so very much. Thank you so very much for standing in and believing in them and moving the work forward. Yes, when men say there is a casting down, we are saying, we will not join them to say casting down. We are not the generation that speak the wrong thing. Can I hear a loud amen? Yeah. So I believe that you are being planted in this house is because God has great and mighty things in stock for you. So ensure that you are positioned in such a way that nothing will move you. Don't allow anyone shake your stand in your belief in this very commission and your own vision will be unfolded. Amen. I celebrate all the men of God who are here from different ministries. Pastor Flourish from Logic Church from uh, Lake Area. We thank you for coming to support Jimmy. And of course, my son and my daughter are here. Reverend Guchuku, good to see you. Thank you so much. And the rest of you. Of course, the woman that makes me run. Let us celebrate Mama Peace. He said I should not call her. So I'm not I'm going to be obedient. But I, I really thank God for her. I really thank God. I would have been in trouble if God did not give her to me. But I, I really celebrate the grace of God on her life. Are you ready, Fountain? All right, we're going to... I, I also want to thank God for all the speakers who have spoken. Sunday... 
Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. They've all done very well. Everyone that has walked this podium. I, I heard Pastor Jimmy telling you or to, let me tell you, you didn't hear everything. Don't ever assume that you heard everything that was spoken or that you wrote down everything. You did not, I can assure you. The way to grow in faith is to keep on hearing. You don't hear it once. So they need to get the materials and then sit with them so that you can relieve this conference. That's how to grow. One of the tragedy of, 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 of the church today, I, I say it in many places, the, the greatest mission field today, unfortunately, is the church. Because there's so much ignorance in the church. We love this hype, we love these uh, bells and whistles. We love it. We love it so much. But the devil does not care how much you jump or roll on the floor. Doesn't care how much, how many Bibles you carry, how many translations. He's afraid of somebody who has some stuff in his spirit. So that when he when bounces you, the word will explode in you. You must understand that. So I encourage you, please. Be a word addict. Be a word addict. I'll be saying a few things tonight and then pray with you. And, and, and I want you to really look, uh, look at my heart. Hear my heart much more than my, what I'm saying. So let's go to the word of God. And keep standing because I want you to read this with me then. Then we go into the word. You can now see it. Matthew chapter 6 from verse 19. Matthew 6 from verse 19. In King James Version. Not New King James. King James. When I tell you other translations, then you can go there. Matthew chapter 6 from verse 19. I want you to... Let's read in concert. Every one of us. Let's read it all in concert from verse 19. Matthew chapter 6 from verse 9. I thought, the, okay, that's good. One, two, go. Lay not up for yourself treasures upon the earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourself treasure in heaven, neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. Next verse. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thy eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thy eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? Now man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one, and leave the other, or else he will hold on to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat and the body than raiment? Behold the fowls of the air. For they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his uh, stature? Take ye thought for raiment. Consider the lilies of the field. Neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you, that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothe the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or wherewithal shall we be clothed? 
For all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that you have need of all these. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things. Can I hear loud amen? Yeah. I want you to point your index finger to somebody and tell him you are not a victim. No, he didn't hear you. Tell two or three people. Now, tell another person what the, what the Lord is doing in you. Is more powerful than what is doing against you. One more time, what God is doing in your life is more powerful than what the devil is doing against you. Amen. Put your hands together as you go to your seat. You know, we live in a world that is fast spiraling downwards. Spiraling downwards and everything is falling apart and the center is no more holding. There is nothing that you can hold on to in this life that you can stake your life on. Nothing. Everything is falling apart. Everything. And so, it is risky to place your life on things that are ephemeral. It is a risky way to live, to live your life in such a way that it is dependent on something that is not solid, something that is, is not assured, something that is not insured. You must be very careful. It's a risky way to live. I mean, just look around you, look at what's happening in our very eyes in this country. Just one policy can wipe every, every money you have. One policy. If that's what you are depending on, if depending on money, can wipe out everything. And what can you do? If you don't have something solid that your life depends on, you'll be in trouble. The world is becoming brutal and wicked. And so it's very important for the believer to understand that you must know who you have in your life. Your relationship with your God must be intact. You cannot trivialize it. You can't play games with it. You must be ready to ensure that give me my give me hand help. This is it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It is an abuse and uh, and an insult to redemption for the believer who says he's giving his heart to Christ to live his life as a victim. Because when you function that way, what you are saying in effect is that Jesus did not die and what he did was not perfect. But I've come to tell you that what Jesus did in our lives is completely complete and perfectly perfect. Are you hearing me? There is no hard measure to it. Understand that in the God's global agenda for mankind, they factored you into it. You are a part of it. You are not an appendix. He's not enduring you. No. He values your input. And as a result, even before you were born, you were factored into everything he's doing. Jeremiah, before I formed thee, I knew you when you were yet in your mother's womb. I 
made you a prophet to the nation before I formed you, before, before I formed you. There is no one under the sound of my voice here tonight that's an accident of birth. You are a part and parcel of God's purpose and his design here on earth. The church is not peripheral to the world. The world is peripheral to the church. In other words, the world is not, the church is not supposed to depend on the world. The world is supposed to depend on us because we are God's embassy on earth. We are his authorized agent with divine credentials, with authority to manifest the messianic presence. That's who we are. But unfortunately, a lot of people who uh, believers don't understand this and they, they have made themselves victims and you watch them we are always you know, looking for what can we do what can we do the work is finished and you are supposed to operate from the position of rest 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 not out of fear trepidation hopelessness confusion no the price for your victory has been paid. And the only honor you can give to Christ is to ensure that you live your life in appreciation of what he has done for you. The scripture tells us in Romans 8.29, for he who made it for no, it has been perfected in eternity. What concerns you have been perfected? God is not scratching his head and wondering, what can I do with this? No, your end is already glorious. He whom he did for no, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he may be firstborn among many brethren. And he whom he predestinated, them he called, those whom he called, he justified, those he justified, he glorified. He called you to glory, not shame, disgrace, humiliation, or embarrassment. He says, according as I've chosen you, Ephesians 1, 4, before the foundation of the world, before the foundation of the world, to be holy and without blame before him in love. He did it before the foundation of the world. Redeemed you with the blood that was shed since the foundation of the world. All these things were perfected before you were released into the world. So you have no business wondering how your life will turn out. I declare to you tonight, your life will not end in disgrace. I said it will not end in disgrace. It will never end in embarrassment. It's already concluded. Listen, we are like Jimmy had been in the movie industry. You understand how movies are produced. Everything is perfected behind the scene. Am I right? The producer, when watching the movie, is not watching, he's not, you know, anxious and, and stressed up. He's calm because he already knew how it will end. God is not bothered about what the devil is doing in your life because he already has the devil carpeted. Did you hear what I said? It doesn't matter your condition, what you are going through. He already has the devil carpeted. And the reason why we are faced with challenges is because you don't know this. Ignorance opens the door for the devil to make a mean spirit out of you. I say to people that the first the greatest thing that can happen to any believer, any person on the face of this earth, is to be born again. Then after you are born again, the next greatest thing is for you to have a mind renewal. To renew your mind. Because if you don't renew your mind, that's, and that's where coming to church is important to be taught. You come to church to be taught your rights, your privileges, your authority in Christ so that you can go there and manifest it. But when you don't, you don't care, you say, I'm born again. Listen, you can be born again, and the devil will eat your lunch, punch, pop your lunch box, throw it away, and tell you to clean the table. 
and yet you are in church. And you'll be wondering what's going on with me. Simple. True knowledge shall be just be delivered. True knowledge. True knowledge. So you see, we have a bunch of people who go to church but know nothing. Know nothing about their rights, the authority they wield, the power they have. Know nothing about the Holy Spirit, what it does in their lives. Know nothing about the gifts of the Spirit in operation. And yet they want to live victorious life. It does not work that way. Everything was perfected before you were born. It says in 2 Timothy 1 9, it says, Who has saved us and called us, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given to us in Christ Jesus before the world began. It was given to us before the world began. Before the world began. Before the world began. So everything was already concluded. So you must understand it. He's not trying to do something. No, it's already concluded. Your destiny, your colorful destiny has already been perfected ever before you were born. What he intends for you to achieve in life is already concluded. It's not a new thing to him. You know, God... God created time and steps out of time and controls time. So he's not living in time. So he has already seen your end from the beginning. He's already seen your colorful end from the beginning. And that's what the scripture tells us. When you get saved, he, what does he do? He quickens you, raises you, and made you to sit together with him. As far as he's concerned, you are sitting with him right now. You are seated with Christ right now in heavenly places. So you see, you are not in any disadvantage position. The victory is already won. Christianity is not come to the kitchen. It's come to the table. Did you hear what I said? God is not calling you to help, come and help him cook. He has finished the cooking. He has set the table. And he says, come, sit on the table. This is your seat. This is your napkin. This is your fork. Eat. I don't know why that is hard. And we want to put our hands in it. Christ, the, this, this salvation issue was never your idea. It was not you. Who packaged salvation? How on earth do you think you can package salvation? You, you, look at you. Sin is so mysterious that there is no single individual born on the face of this earth that can be able to deal with the issue of sin. Not one. Did you hear what the scripture says in Isaiah? That Lucifer was good. Everything was fine until iniquity was what? And I asked myself, where did iniquity come from? In the presence of a holy God? In the presence of the almighty? The possessor of heaven and earth? Iniquity jumped and entered his servant. It's mysterious. Sin is mysterious. Let me tell you this on a lighter mood. Sometimes sin is pleasurable. The Bible talks about Moses. Moses said, I will not enjoy the pleasures of sin for what? A moment. I would rather suffer with God's people. So that, that, there is a level of pleasure that sin gives to somebody. 
There's a level. So sin is a mystery. And that's why it had to take God to remove it. That's how it had to take him to remove it. Man cannot remove it by his effort. So John says, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sins of the world. He has taken it away. When Jesus Christ died, was buried and rose, he took it away. Sin is no longer an issue to the believer now. By taking it away, he accepted you in the beloved. God has accepted you. He's no longer mad at any man. He's not angry at you. He's not waiting for you to make one mistake and he drop a hammer on your head. The book of Romans tells us he was delivered for our offenses. He was delivered for our offenses, raised for our justification. Then he says in chapter 5 of Romans, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand. Into this grace. Right now, every believer is standing on grace. Somebody shout, thank God for grace. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. We're standing on an arena of grace. If you have situations around you, just know I'm standing on grace. And grace will speak for me. Grace will bring me out of that situation. Grace will fight my battles. You will shut the mouth of the enemy. Yeah. Lift up your hands and shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Philippians 1.6 He that has begun a good work. You are a good work. He started it. And I want to assure you he will complete the work he has started in your life. He will never do it halfway. Can I hear a loud amen? amen? The work that the Father is doing in your life will never be halfway. Amen. He will complete it. Amen. I said he will complete it. Amen. I don't care how low you are. You know, when God gave us Jesus, he gave us his best. That's why I read this my text God's best is not car it's not building it's not house it's not promotion it's not a child it's not a husband all these things are good they're all good but that's not the best he gave to you. When he gave you Jesus, he gave you his best. And when he gave you the Holy Spirit, he gave you his all. Listen. Have you not noticed? Have you not noticed? And, and that's it. I'm not just talking about this. I'm talking about generally. And, that, and that's why I'm, I'm concerned. I'm really concerned. When somebody gives a testimony of salvation, I thank God that I was lost going to somewhere. No hope for me at all. And I came to Fountain. And after listening to Pastor Jimmy, I gave my heart to Christ. Everyone on the seat, majority, Probably 95% will be looking at him because it doesn't make sense. So that is testimony that you are saved. You are born again. 
but somebody steps out and says, help me to thank God. I was a beggar on the street. Somehow, God opened the door for me and I got a contract of 50 million. Hallelujah! The hallelujah will be loud. You know why? We value things more than eternal life. Eternal life to us is nothing. It's nothing. That you have a God's kind of life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes should not perish but have eternal life. He didn't come to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved. We value houses. That's why Jesus taught on that Matthew. Houses, cars, buildings. What am I going to eat? How am I going to train my children? How am I going to build a new house? And all that. We, and th those are the things that define you. Those are the things that, that define you. When the scripture tells us clearly, why we look not at the things which we see. Because the things you see are temporary. And what you do not see are what? Eternal. Eternal life. 1 John 5, 11. Put it on the screen. 1 John 5, 11. And this is the record that God had given to us. What? Shout it. Shout it. And this is life. This, is li this life is in his son. He that had the son had what? And he that had not the son had not what? 13. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the son of God that ye may know that you have what? That you may know that is the treasure that God has given to you. And that is what we are supposed to be concerned about. You say, the, you say brother, my wife, but I need a house, I need a car. But he just told you, he said, those things are the way the Gentiles, those who do not know Jesus, they are the ones that pursue such things. Those who have not got eternal life are those who stress themselves, who worry, who refuse to sleep, who get involved in all kinds of things. He said, that's how the world lives. He said, but you are different. He said, look, be concerned with your stand with me. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all these things, these things, these things, you will struggle for them. They will automatically gravitate to you. Eternal life. I thank God I am saved. I am sanctified. I feel with the Holy Spirit. I thank God that I'm eternally forgiven. That I have eternal redemption. I thank God that I have irrevocable, blood bought, iron clad, unconditional, extravagant love of God. That God has given me access into his life. Thank God for that. And that's more powerful than anything in your life. That's more powerful. You see, what I'm telling you is the reason. Why? It looks as if the world is better than us. Because we have it twisted as believers. These things shall be what? Shall be what? Somebody put it this way. When you have eternal life, those things you are looking for, now follow come. Now follow come. Yeah, it's automatic. 
It's automatic. It's automatic. And when you understand this, you will value the life you have. Listen to me. If money is what defines people, then all the rich people in the world, I don't want to mention their name, they are better than you. They are better. They are better than you. All the wealthy people who don't even go to church, who are God-haters, they are spitting on the face of God. You can't go to such people and tell them, follow me to our church so that God will bless you. Are you following what I'm saying? Follow me to our church so that God will give you a car. He will say, he will, he will say seriously? He will take you to his garage and show you Lamborghini and show you Ferrari and show you Rolls Royce and show you all manner of vehicle with also powerful machine. He will show you all that. If that is what is definition of God's goodness in people's life. He will show you his mansion where he's living. But when you make them know you have something they don't have. He said, what am I? What is that? Eternal life. That is the real riches. Wealth. Eternal life. That, that is the only thing that can fill the vacuum in their hearts. Eternal life. And that's what they don't have. And that's what puts everyone on the same level. Eternal life. Eternal life. And today, the church today is trivializing it. Overtly concerned. Money. Money. Did you, did, did you hear what Jesus said? You will not serve God and what? And what? Notice he didn't say you won't serve God and Satan. It's deliberate. He didn't say you cannot serve God and Satan. Because he knows that you won't want to serve Satan. That the real issue, the real McCoy, where the robber meets the road, is money. It's money. And he's telling you, you can't serve me and this. You can't. Look at what the quest for money is doing in this country. The quest for money. Children killing their parents, parents killing their children, women selling their children, people going into prostitution, doing all manner of things because money. And yet, these are things that God has already paid for. They are yours. All things are yours. I said all things are yours. When he died, he paid for all those things on your behalf. He paid for them. They belong to you. If only you can believe it. They belong to you. They are yours. No struggle. They are supposed, you see, once, once you are correctly positioned, there are things you will never struggle for in life. Never. I've traveled to different parts of the world, including places I don't know any person. And I go to such places I disguise myself because I don't want anyone who knows me. Put on big sunshade. You know, because I don't want anyone to recognize me. And yet, never stranded anywhere. Because there is something about eternal life that when you recognize you have it, when you recognize that if you have it, you enter a place, it fills the room. It will fill the room. They may not be able to tell all the stories about you, but they will say, there is something about this person. There is something, I, I cannot put my finger on it. There is something about you. The life of God. I have Zoe. 
Somebody shout hallelujah. I said shout hallelujah. I have it. 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 That should be your source of pride, focus, and commitment. Probably the reason why some things you are asking for is not getting, it's not, it's still hanging, is because you are looking at the wrong place. Seek it first. The kingdom of God. He said, Martha, Martha, you are so much concerned about many things. Only one thing you need. One size fits everything. Just one size. Jesus is one size fits everywhere. Once you have him, every other thing, they have no choice than to, be, to bow at your feet. That's the understanding you must have. And that's why Paul said, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Let the mind, you can never see Jesus Christ wondering, how am I going to survive? You can't catch him. How am I going to cross the, the Gal Sea of Galilee? How am I going to come out of this situation? Listen, in the mind of God, you have already come out. You are wondering how you will come In God's mind, because of the life you carry, you are already out. Because you win all the time. Listen, there is what is called bounce back mechanism in the life of a believer. The believer always bounces back. There is nothing like fatal failure. No matter how low you go, you will come back up. Why? Because of the life that you have in you. Let me hear a loud amen. amen. Isaiah 35 10. Look at the scriptures. Isaiah 35 10. The same scripture is in Isaiah 51 11. And the ransomed of the Lord shall what? Shall what? And come to Zion with what? And what? Upon their heads they shall obtain joy and gladness and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Bounce back. Isaiah 51 11 repeated the same thing. Isaiah 51 11. Look at it. Therefore, the redeemed of the Lord. How many are redeemed here? Look at it. The redeemed of the Lord shall what? And come with what? And everlasting joy shall what? And they shall obtain gladness and joy. And sorrow and mourning. Whatever has caused you sorrow and mourning. I speak to it now. It comes to an end now. Amen. 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 Joy is our portion. Everlasting joy. The Proverbs 24, 16. The righteous fall seven times and rises. I don't care where you are now. I don't care where you are fallen. You are coming back. Yeah. I said you are coming back. Yeah. I said you are coming back. Yeah. Pushback is not end of the road. When you are pushed back, it's not your obituary. How many of you, you are pushing back so as to gather momentum? If you go to the airport, you see, when it's about to take off, they push it back. There are some of you who have been pushed back. But get ready. You are going to fly. I said you are going to fly. You are going to fly. You are going to fly. Psalm 37 verse 24. Though he fall, he will not be totally cast down. For the Lord upholded him. We have bounce back mechanism. We are always bouncing back. 
Can I hear a loud amen? amen. A louder amen. amen. The loudest amen. amen. Don't trivialize this eternal life. Don't. That's all you need in life. I'm telling you. Jesus said something concerning John the Baptist. Matthew chapter 11. Matthew chapter 11. Um, from verse 11. Matthew chapter 11 from verse 11. Listen. Verily, verily, I say unto you. Say, I say unto you. Among them that are born of women. Talking about John. There had not risen a greater than John the Baptist. He said, among those who are born of John. No one is risen had been raised like John. Notwithstanding, he that is what? In the kingdom of heaven is what? Do you really understand what that means? Jesus has just made a statement and sounds like an oxymoron. No one is greater than John. Among people born of women. Then, but he goes on to say that he that is born, he that has eternal life, is greater than him. The least of us, a person who is born again today, is greater than John. You see, you see, you see heaven's evaluation. Look at heaven's evaluation. In that, at times, human beings will be evaluating this. I begin, I begin to ask them, who, who gave you the yardstick? The yardstick with which you are evaluating who is better and who is greater. Who gave it to you? They have not called the result. We are still here. We are still in the drama. Are you following what I'm telling? Who has the greatest thing? Who has the greatest that? Who, has, who told you? That, you see, when you understand this, you are not envious, jealous, or um, what, bothered about what anyone has. Rather, you celebrate and keep on going. You stay in your lane. Just stay in your lane. Who told, who told, who gave you your stick? Jesus said at one, the things that are highly esteemed among men is what? Abomination. It's abomination before him. So why make comparison? Stay in your lane. The least of us that has this zoe is greater than John. Can I hear a loud amen? amen? Do you know that what we carry is heavy? First Peter chapter 1 from verse 10. Look at what he says. First Peter chapter 1 from verse 10. I'm sorry, I'm giving you a lot of scriptures. I could come here and then preach, you, preach your head to the ceiling. But I don't want to do that. I want to leave some information, some revelation, put it in your spirit. You see, of which salvation, talking about the salvation that we, we, we have now, this life we have, prophets have inquired, prophets of old prophesied about it. They prophesied about this life we are carrying. They spoke concerning it many, many years. The prophets have inquired and searched diligently who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you. They prophesied this very error. Searching they kept on searching what or what manner of time the spirit of Christ which was in them did signify. Who are these people who are going to carry the life of God in them? Who are they? When they testified beforehand the sufferings of Christ and the glory that should follow. Twelve. Unto whom it was revealed that not unto themselves but unto us and to bless 
I said, aren't you blessed? They did minister the things which are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you with the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven which thinks even angels angels are begging as I'm preaching now angels are peeping because they are they are shocked at what they are hearing. They never had eternal life. They never had it. They never received the baptism of the Holy Spirit with sick picking in tongues. They never had it. They were searching. Who are this blessed generation? Who will carry the very life of God? Who are they? That will say in him we live, we move. Who are they? That will say as he is. So, they were looking. They were looking diligently do you know that elijah moses jeremiah shadrach meshach abednego will pay anything to be in our generation that's why you must be careful the songs you sing Listen to me. Be careful. There are songs I don't sing. Songs that will not affirm my position in Christ. I will sing it. Songs that will not affirm. Because faith comes by what? And hearing by what? You see this man standing here. I am not desiring the days of Elijah and Ezekiel. No, no. I'm not desiring the days of Moses. I thank God for them. Creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. They are waiting. They are waiting. Enough of this victim mentality. As if you don't have anything. If any man be in Christ, he's a brand new species of being that has never existed before. You are God's ambassador. You are anointed by God to walk the works of God. You are God's powerhouse. You can never fail. You are a terror to the devil. There is a power at work in you that makes the rulers of darkness to tremble. Somebody shout, I have, I have power. Say it again, I have power. I have power. Say it again, I have, I have power. Say it again, I have power. Christ in you. You carry God. You carry God. Morning, afternoon, and night, you carry God. I am not looking for him. I came with him. I am not waiting for heaven. I carry heaven already. Glory to God. I'm not waiting. I don't, I don't join the rest to pray. Lord, at the end, so that I can make it. No. No. I'm already. The scripture says, He quickened me. He raised me. And made me to what? Sit. Together with Him. 
Where he is is where you are. And he has loved you with the same measure of love that his love he had for Christ. The same measure. Even Jesus Christ said it in his prayers for us in John 17. I in them and thou in me that they may be made perfect in one. That the world may know that you have sent me and has loved them even as you have loved me. John 17, 23. That he has loved them. I have been accepted in the beloved. I am a son. I am a son. Enough of this servant and slave mentality in worshiping God. You are not a servant. You are a son. I say you are a son. I say you are a son. That is your position. And sons don't beg their daddy to go to the fridge. Would you be embarrassed? Reverend Awushika, if your child begin to say, Mommy, please now, can I take water in the fridge? You will be embarrassed. And that's what many of us do. Servant mentality. Slave mentality. And it came out of tradition. That's the, the tradition we came from. Always come with trepidation. Fearful. But I hear God say, let us therefore come. Come boldly. To Lambano. To Lambano to take, to obtain. Mercy. And then find grace at every time of need. He said, come boldly. Stop, stop, stop shivering. Understand your relationship with the father. You are a son. You are a son. And son is about the inheritance. If you don't understand it, you will not obtain what belongs to you. Listen to me. Majority of believers live their life in the Old Testament. That's why they always see God in the light of a, a wicked God. God who wants to kill. Wants to kill. Covenant day of vengeance. God is not willing that any should what? You, you know, God showed me something not very long. Even when Adam fell, he said, all these trees and fruits and everything you should eat. This one, you should not eat it. For in the day you eat it, you will what? He didn't say, in the day you eat it, I will kill you. Think of it. Because that's how we have read it. He didn't say, the day you eat it, I will kill you. You see, when we finally meet face to face with the Father, none of us will point at him and say, we have a reason to question what he did. Because in all ways, he is always pursuing us to show us his love. What he simply did to Adam is show him Espo. He gave him Espo. This one will kill you. Eat this one. He didn't say I will kill you the day you eat it. He said there is death in this one. He was showing him where death is. And the man decided to take where death is. 
are you, are, you, are you seeing the love of God? Even at that, he still made provision for him to be protected through the blood of the animal. And then drove him out of the garden so that he will not die in that condition. That's the love of God. That's his love. You see, lately I've been fellowshipping with the love of God. His love for me. His love. His love. If you understand his love, you will be carrying power. You carry power. His irrevocable, irreversible, unconditional, blood bought, ironclad love. For while we were yet what? Christ died for us. No, since, since God exposed me to some of these revelations, I am having a ball with God. I'm enjoying resting. There's power in the word of God. What you have, the saints of old, the, the Bible even says it that they did not enter the promise because our, they are waiting for our generation. They did receive the promise with all they did. But today, we have it. Jesus. Somebody shout, I have Zoe. Shout it again, I have Zoe. Understand who you are. You are a chosen generation. A royal priesthood. A holy nation, a peculiar people set aside to show forth the praises of him who has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light which were not a people but now we are the people of God which had no mercy now we have obtained mercy heaven reckons with us we matter to, for, to him we matter to heaven glory to God let me close I see have a lot of things to share. Ephesians chapter 3, I mean chapter 1, from verse 3 to 7. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who had past tense blessed us somebody shout I am blessed shout it again I am blessed shout it again I am blessed you know what that means because you have Christ in you you are already empowered to succeed in different areas of your field endeavors you have already been empowered and so you can't fail you can you, you can you can you can fail look at it with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places what are they according as he has chosen us somebody say i am chosen do you know what that means he came in the big marketplace and just say is that one i want is that one I want? He chose you out of multitudes. That's how important you are. That's how much he treasures you. He said, he chose you before the foundation, even before you were born. And you know that God doesn't waste resources. The purpose for which he chose you is special. There is a destiny, a plan for your life. Now watch this. He said we are holy. Somebody shout, I am holy. I am holy. I see that some of you are intimidated to say it. I am holy. 
you are, the devil is reminding you of what you did before you came to church. Religion says you are not holy until you behave holy. That's what religion says. But in the kingdom, it works differently. It says, believe you are holy, then you will behave holy. Are you following me? You, are, you believe you are holy, then you will behave holy. You can't behave what you are not. You know, you know, you know, people who preach holiness are always coming off. You say, Brother Mike, when you will preach like this, you are giving people license to sin. You are giving them license to sin. And I said to them, Does hospital make people sick? Is the reason why people are sick? Is it because they, there is hospital built? Answer me. Are you telling me that the reason your car breaks down is because there are mechanics? Oh. The reason you are hungry is because there are restaurants. Eh? What does restaurant do? It feeds you when you are hungry. Hospital cures you when you are sick. Mechanic takes care of your car when it goes bad. So grace builds you up when you are down. Somebody shout hallelujah. Don't believe, don't believe, you see. <laughs> That's why I see a lot of people I've been around though. I've been around. You know, I got married in 1980. That's 44 years. I've been around though. I got saved in 71. And went immediately into ministry in 72. I've been around. I've seen different waves though. I think I've told you people here in Fountain, my background. I told you people, the time will not permit me to tell you some of the background, but I won't, I won't bother, I won't tell you. Listen, it is a fraud for any preacher to say you are not holy when God calls you holy. You know why? Sometimes when we pray for the sick, the pain will still be in their body. Have you experienced that? They, some of them will see notice the pain in their body. So what do we tell them? What do we tell them? They should believe that they are what? And because they are standing in that belief, the healing will come. Is that not so? Why is it that when it comes to holiness and God says you are holy, and you say, no, you are not holy, go and behave holy first. Go and behave holy. God says you are saved. You say no, he's not saved until we see the fruits of salvation. I want the 1,000 holy people here to shout hallelujah. <laughs> That is how to get rid of sin. When you believe what God said about you, you will become it. Those that know their God. What? What? Wait. Look at how it works. You know him. In knowing him, you know yourself and your capability. You know your capacity. And when you know that capacity, then you will be strong. Knowledge of who you are in God will make you strong. Then you will do. It is not do first in order to know. No. It is know. Then strength. Then you do. 
Can I hear a loud amen? That's why Paul spent most of his time. You know what Paul was teaching? No. If you go to 1 Corinthians 6, 6, 6, I'm not going there. When you go home, look at it. I think he said, he spoke about no, about five times. Know ye not, your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Know ye not, you are going to judge the angels. Know ye not that you are a child of God. Know ye not this. The reason you are doing it because you don't know. That's the reason. That's why he spent time praying for the church that we should know the hope of his calling. Can I hear a loud amen? I close with this. When you read the Gospels, where do you see yourself? When you read Gospel, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Because some of you are in the wrong platform. Can I tell you where you find your, you always find yourself? You are the woman with the issue of blood. Yeah. That's the way you see yourself. Remember, my topic is you are, you are not a victim. You see yourself as the woman that her was forgiven the sin of adultery. You see yourself as Mary at the, at the, in St. John. The Mary at the, at the well who preached to them in Samaria. I mean, yeah, in Samaria. That's how you see yourself. That's not what God wants you to see yourself. The reason it is documented is for you to see your possibility in Christ. You should take the position of Christ, not the position of the person looking for a handout. You are the one carrying healing, ready to heal the sick. Are you hearing me? You are the one who is praying over the loaves and the loaves are multiplying. You are the one. Why? Because you have Zoe. You have the life of God and you have the Holy Spirit. You are not the victim. You are the one providing solution and answer. Don't be seeing yourself as a victim. The price has been paid. It died. It paid the supreme price. You are no more a loser. You are more than conqueror. No more condemnation for you. You are in Christ Jesus. You can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. Your needs are met according to his riches. You are born of God and you have world overcoming faith residing on the inside of you. The greater one lives in you, greater than he that's in the world. From this night forward, in the name that is above every name, no more defeats for you. No more defeats for you. Whatever area you have been defeated by the enemy, I speak by the mandate of heaven. It comes to an end now. It comes to an end now. It comes to an end now. Every type of delay in your life. Whatever he that will have kept you on the spot. By prophetic word. I release you into your destiny. You will recover all. 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 Your days of wandering around desert, looking for way, which way I'm going to turn. I declare it over you. It comes to an end now. It comes to an end now. The captives of the mighty shall be delivered. The lawful captives shall be delivered. 
I release you tonight. I release you tonight. I release you tonight. I speak to every sickness and every disease. Every complication in your life. By the authority of heaven, I command it now. Die! 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 Let creative miracle begin to take place all over here. Let body parts be revealed now. Let body parts be replaced now. Every cancer be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Let your liver be healed. Let your kidney be healed. Let your bone be healed. Let your blood be healed. In the name of Jesus. Nothing will cut short your life. You will not die prematurely. 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 You will fulfill your years. You will fulfill your years. You will fulfill your years. I speak over your life your heaven will never be shot it will never be shot it will never be shot your ground will produce for you your ground will produce for you nations will open for you continents will open for you I declare every whirlwind blow you your direction. Whirlwind try to try to destabilize and disrupt what God spoke about you. I speak to it now by the mandate of heaven. Clear! 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 Eh, Capo Sate Keke Kurabase Mato Shikiki Lima Zuki Liba Zuki Liba Oh, hey, hey, oh, hey, hey, two of you come. Hey, hey, Shekuta. Sato, hey, hey, go, 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 ah, in a nano de do that, that do they do the kiki kiki lila and the uya mojiki new level, new level, new level. New level, new level. Ah. Hey, 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 hey. Ah.
for trouble. You will not labor for trouble. You will not labor for trouble. What God has packaged for you, I declare no one will take it from you. No one will take it from you. No one will take it from you. Your name for great things will come up in high places. Your name for greatness will come up in high places. It will come up in high places. It will come up in high places. It will come up in high places. I hear June. I hear June. By June, your struggle comes to an end. It comes to an end. It comes to an end. It comes to an end. Eternal life. You have eternal life. I have Zoe. Listen, you don't know how powerful what you can. Do you know that the devil let loose everything he had? To ensure that this life is not released in resurrection. He had exerted every reserve. All the reserve soldiers he had, they released it to ensure that Jesus did not resurrect. But he arose. I say he arose. He arose. Is in me glorified. I am in him justified. As he is who I am. You better believe what I shared with you. Better believe every prophetic word I spoke. I've looked forward to this meeting. I prayed. And God assured me that I should go and represent him. Whatever I say comes to pass. I say it comes to pass. It comes to pass. You will hear my, I will hear your testimony. And Father, Fountain shall grow from strength to strength. Amen. From glory to glory. Amen. No evil wind will blow against this ministry. Amen. No evil wind will blow against this ministry. Amen. With our eyes we will behold and see the reward of the wicked. Amen. With our eyes we will behold and see the reward of the wicked. Fountain will spread to the nations of the world. It will throw to the nations of the world. Rebellion will not stand. Anarchy will not stand. Disobedience will not stand. Disloyalty will not stand. Double standard will not stand. Sabotage will not stand. Indiscipline will not stand. The hand of God rests upon this ministry. In the name of Jesus, the anointing rests upon this ministry. In the name of Jesus, champions shall be raised in this house. 
billionaire shall be raised in this house. It's a new season. It's a new beginning. Listen, there is a change in anointing. When you begin to see some things take place. When you begin to see some things happening. Don't, 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 don't wonder what's going on. Don't wonder. There is a release of new grace. I will hear your testimony. Father, we give you the praise. Father, we give you the honor. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name. Somebody shout a loud amen. Shout a believing amen. A wonderful amen. amen. Do you believe that God truly touched you tonight? Amen. When you leave here, go and tell every person that I have Zoe. And any person you see. You have it. I said you have it. I said you have it. <coughs> and I will hear your testimony. Father, we give you the praise. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name. Now, let me tell you, Fountain. You know, I don't need invitation to come here. Any day I feel the prompting of the Holy Spirit, you will see me here. This work, this work, it must explode. Nothing will stop it. Nothing will stop it. Can I hear the loudest amen? Thank you so much. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Let's give it to Jesus. Let's thank the Lord. We have been fed tonight. Let's appreciate the Almighty Father. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are unique. You are chosen. You are special. You are not a servant. You are a son. Oh, Father God, we appreciate you. Thank you for tonight, Almighty God. Thank you, Father Lord God for speaking again to us this evening. Lord, we thank you. We appreciate you. Oh, my secretary got sondolo boko shendere. Oh, Zoe. 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 Praise the Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Please be seated. Time for our offering. Time for our offering. Let's give something special to the Almighty Father to say we love you. The accounts are on, on the screen. Oh, praise the Lord. Our God is a good God. Were you blessed tonight? Were you blessed tonight? Praise God.
let's rise. Well, we say the grace. We are going to have the last lap when? On Sunday. Make sure you come on time. And please bring someone with you as you come in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, bless and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus set us free from the law of sin and death. And so sin shall not have dominion over us. For the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells inside of us and quickens our mortal bodies to the glory of his holy name. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Buses are available, please. All the various areas are on the screen. God bless you.